Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Lenovo Tab P12 Pro and in this video we would like to show the top 5 tips for this device. So let's go ahead and start. The first tip is the fact that you can set your fingerprint as an unlock method for this device. So in order to be able to access this uh, feature just open up the settings. Here at the settings look for the security section. Add the device security, go for the fingerprint and we will just go, go ahead and um, enroll it. In cases you do not have any other uh, unlock method set, you will be asked or well, it, it will be mandatory for you to get yourself some um, backup unlock method. The list of available um, ways is either the pattern, the pin or the password. In my case, I'll go with pattern, set up the pattern that I wanted to use. And then confirm it. Alrighty, so we can start enrolling the fingerprint. The sensor is located at the power uh, button itself. So if the layout of your tablet is like mine right now, so the selfie camera is at the top and the like general layout is horizontal, the lock button is located right here. So we'll just Lay and lift our finger onto the fingerprint sensor. Make sure to slightly adjust uh, the position in each time you lay your finger onto the sensor in order uh, with the purpose of like making sure that the entire surface of your fingerprint is being scanned. So I'll lift the tablet itself a little bit in order for this process to be expedited. Alrighty, so the fingerprint has been successfully added. Let's try it out. As you can see, if I'll lock the screen of my tablet and lay my finger onto the fingerprint sensor, it gets uh, unlocked each time successfully. Alrighty, so we've just successfully enrolled the fingerprint. Now, moving on to the second tip, which is also the biometrical way of unlocking your screen. And as you could already guessed it is the face recognition so let's go ahead uh, choose the face recognition confirm the pattern mm, tap and continue all that all that we got to do in order for us to scan our face is to place it inside the circle frame I do I'll do it off the screen real quick already so my face has been successfully scanned and enrolled let's test it out as well already so as you could see uh, once I align my face with the selfie camera my screen gets uh, unlocked with no issues but the moment I uh, hide my face and show the selfie camera anything but it uh, it does not uh, recognize my face obviously and does not get unlocked so we can assume that uh, the face recognition has been successfully enrolled and works just fine the next tip is the fact that uh, you can change your screen refresh rate. In order to access uh, this opportunity, you gotta uh, open up the settings again. Go for the display section of it and here look for the screen refresh rate settings. So there are two values to choose from. Uh, if you uh, go with the lower screen refresh rate of 60 Hz, you'll get the better uh, and longer battery life. But if you choose the 120 Hz, uh, even though your battery will not that uh, durable or like your tablet will live uh, will live smaller amounts of time on uh, one battery charge at the same time you'll get smoother animations and overall scrolling experience and like visual experience in general so choose whatever fits you best as you can see my tablet is right now um, charging so I can just go ahead and set it to the high value which is ultimately the 120 Hertz screen refresh rate value already so we are moving on to the fourth step which is called productivity mode this is like the separate uh, settings section so let's go ahead and uh, enter its page basically long story short once enabled it just uh, turns the interface um, of our tablet to a pc like state so for example if you'll connect like any keyboard and uh, external mouse like physical mouse and keyboard uh, you can just go ahead, turn on the productivity mode, and as you will see, our interface and layout will become like P 
PC alike or Windows for PC or laptops alike. So we have this run button. Mm, here we have all the active apps, like the panel you have on the Windows or any other uh, personal computer or laptop systems. Here we have like the information that would be regularly appearing at the status bar at the top, but since we've changed the layout to productivity, it is being displayed right here. So yeah, if, if you like uh, this interface layout better, you can just go ahead and activate the productivity mode. In order to um, disable it, just open up the same setting, uh, the same page uh, of settings and turn on this, turn off this switch. And after this uh, dialog, um, dialog cloud appears, dialog window appears, just confirm it with tap it on close. And we'll get back to, we'll get back things to normal. We'll get things back to normal, <laughs> excuse me. And the final uh, tip or feature that uh, we wanted to share with you in this video is called magnification and it allows you to um, zoom in on any element interface once enabled. In order to be able to access it, open up the settings, go for the accessibility category of them and at the display section, tap on the uh, magnification. Make sure that this uh, switch is turned on. As you can see, you uh, are provided with the information on which gesture you need to use in order for uh, magnification process to be started. So just make the following movement. Already, me myself, uh, I sometimes might have some issues with uh, turning on this mode, but I'll just go ahead and do it as you can see right now. So just uh, hold with your two fingers at the bar, at this bar, hold for a little and then swiftly swipe upwards. And that will mean that magnification mode will be enabled. As you can see right now, uh, the interface is being strongly and like zoomed in. So if you have issues with reading anything or the interface is being too small, you can just go ahead and enable this function and magnify any element of it, as you can see, to like such extent. In order for you to quit this mode, just tap on any vacant spot you have on your screen. So I'll get back to the home screen. And quit the magnification mode, just like this. Just the way, basically, the way you enable it by holding with your two fingers at this bar and swiftly swiping upwards. Alrighty, so that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.